They're considered cell phone towers in the sky, hidden inside small Cessna planes operated by the U.S. Marshal Service. The Wall Street Journal says the devices, known as dirt boxes, are supposed to pinpoint the location of criminals, but there's a catch. The system is designed to pick up a ton of data because it's looking for a needle in a haystack. But to find that needle, it has to actually, for a brief period of time, look at every other piece of hay in that stack. The planes fly with special equipment that mimics cell towers and scans thousands of phones. When it finds a target's phone, the equipment locks on and uses the information to find a suspect's location. The advantage of the drone, airplane or helicopter is that they can just search a much larger area much faster and thus necessarily get information about a huge number of innocent people. The device is similar to this commonly used cell site simulator known as a Stingray. Government officials say it's intended to be used with a defined, legally authorized purpose in serious violent crimes. CNN has learned that technology was used in the capture of El Chapo Guzman, the former head of the notorious Sinaloa cartel and one of the most wanted men in the world. This is a military technology originally designed for the intelligence community and special forces that has trickled down bit by bit to law enforcement and eventually to state and local law enforcement agencies too. In a statement, the Department of Justice would not confirm the existence of the technology, but says any investigative techniques which the Marshal Service uses are for the apprehension of wanted individuals and not to conduct domestic surveillance or intelligence gathering. And a Department of Justice official also says the Marshal Service does not maintain any databases for the purposes of retaining cell phone information of the general public. It's unclear, though, how quickly their data is deleted.